This video demonstrates how to assemble the 68 Durastall shower stall using the standard bays. To assemble the 68 Durastall, you'll need the following tools. A hammer, a screwdriver, and an adjustable wrench. We'll start with assembling the walls. Begin with one corner lock strip and one panel. Notice that the panel has a smooth side and a textured side. The textured side faces the exterior. To start the assembly, work from outside the stall. Use one hand to hold a panel upright with the bottom resting on the floor. Then take a corner lock strip and meet the panel at the top. Angle the corner lock strip to start sliding it onto the panel. The panel will slide into the slot of the lock strip. Now take a hammer and gently tap the lock strip, working your way down until it's secured. Notice that the small holes at the edge of the panel will be covered up when properly seated. Once the panel is secured to the lock strip, continue tapping back up and down until fully seated. Note, it's important to tap above where the panel has gone into the lock strip. Striking at the point of contact or below will cause the panel to be knocked back out. If you notice that the tops are not aligned, you can simply pull off the lock strip and start the process again. Continue assembling the remaining three panels and then the front support panels. Alternatively, you can just get the strips slightly seated using the palm of your hand instead of a hammer. Once you have the whole unit put together, you can go back and firm up all the joints with a hammer. At this point, you have the U-shape of the shower stall. Next, install the top frame. This will help stabilize the unit as you proceed. Place the frame on top of the unit and push the panels inside. It doesn't matter if the panels buckle at this point, as long as they're inside the frame. Push the panels into the groove on the inside of the top frame, allowing the top frame to snap in place. There are nine screws to attach the top frame to the panels. Put one screw at the center of each panel for now to keep the top frame secure. Then proceed to install the nuts and bolts at each front support. Next, we install the handrail. There are six washers and screws that fasten the handrail to the panels. Start by fastening these from the outside through the pre-drilled holes in the panels. A drill with a screw head will speed up the process. To install the handrail, Start with securing the front of the handrail to the front support with a screw, one on each side. A hole on the inside of the handrail accepts each of the six screws that extend through the panels. Attach the nuts and tighten. With the top frame and handrail securely fastened, attach the assembled wall panels to the base. The simplest way is to step inside the shower and walk it onto the base, lifting with the handrail. Make sure that the panels and lock strips are inside the base. Push the panels into the groove inside the base. This will flatten them out and lock them in place. There are nine screws to attach the shower panels to the base. Put one screw at the center of each panel, and a nut and bolt for each front support to keep the shower secure. Install the threshold and put the rest of the screws in the top frame and base. Drill the holes for the shower valve and install it on the proper side. Install the drain and secure it to the waste pipe. Place the curtain on the curtain rod and we're done. EL Musty also offers an extended base to eliminate the need to position the shower stall base directly over the floor drain, the side outlet drain allows for greater freedom in positioning the shower. Few in-home enhancements are more useful or appreciated than an extra shower. This one looks great no matter where it's installed. We hope this demonstration was helpful.